So guys, if you watched my video last night, you would know Jake Ball called out Tommy Fury with a final offer for the boxing match, and it looks like Tommy has accepted this offer. You know me, I'm a betting man. I like to make bets. So I'm putting my money up right now. Tommy, if you beat me, I will give you an extra $500,000. However, if you lose, you have to change your last name for one year to Tommy Fumbles. Deal or no deal? I'm putting the money up. Are you confident? Sign, seal it, deliver it. Do we have a deal? Get that sent over to my lawyers ASAP right now and we'll get that looked and sorted because there's not a chance in hell you're winning this fight. You're leaving on a stretcher, you're getting knocked spark out and as well you know it. Get it over to me now. It seems Jake Paul has finally pushed Tommy's buttons enough to get that fight, but looking through their experience, it's quite an even matchup. Tyson Fury, the heavyweight champion, his brother, come out and said Tommy's barely got any amateur experience and he's only had a couple of pro fights. So who do you guys think is going to win this matchup? Jake Paul has done a good job at getting under Tommy Fury's skin in the build-up already. Remember he shared that fake screenshot of a Molly May DM saying, might be coming to America later this year and have always been a fan of your videos. Maybe you can show me around, but that was a fake DM he put up just to annoy Tommy. If you guys don't know that DM Molly May is Tommy Fury's girlfriend from Love Island. But Tommy has just got to stay focused on the fight and he's in with a big chance. Jake Paul ain't a proper boxer. He's actually decent in a couple fights he's had against people with no boxing experience. But Tommy should put up a better account for himself. He just got to make sure that Jake don't get in his head in the press conferences and just focus on the fight. I remember he was saying that Jake Paul is just a YouTuber and not a fighter and now it seems Tommy sees the potential in it because he's starting his own YouTube channel doing vlogging as well. Clearly the cut in this fight that he's got has made him pay attention to how much leverage having a big channel can bring. Make sure you guys subscribe to be updated on everything to do with this fight with a notification bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.